All right, Nikki Hills, Milrose Games here, going for the two mile, right? How does it feel to be competing indoors here in New York City again? Oh, it's awesome. I mean, I love this meet. Like, it's, they, there's, I've been, I've been at world championships and there's nothing louder than the armory. Like, and I think it's just something about being inside and like the, just the way it's built, like Christian Coleman said, like people are on top of you. And so I, I'm just so excited. I mean, there's something about that like loud energy that just, you're gonna have a good race, you know, cause it's like, it's, you're on the, on a huge stage and, and I'm just so excited to be here. So what's the mindset coming off of the extremely high of 2023 in terms of like the amazing things you did last season? What's the mindset now shifting into 2024? Yeah, I think it's, I you know, there's a little bit more pressure than I've ever experienced before, but I think it's a good thing. And I, I feel like I keep trying to remind myself, like, this is this is somewhere you've always wanted to be. You know, whenever I get nervous or I feel like there's a lot of expectations, it's like pressure's a privilege. And like, um, you know, the expectations are, are more than anything coming for myself, you know, and so, uh, yeah, I'm definitely trying to, like, navigate it because it's something I haven't ever been asked to do the nervous press conference before or things like that, but um, at the end of the day, it's all good things, and I'm really, I'm really excited, and I, I'm just trying to keep the momentum going. I feel like we should get that on a t-shirt. Pressure is a privilege. It's like, yeah. <laughs> um, and now as you kind of look through indoors, it's a plan to do like a full indoor season, like going for yeah. USA's and all that. Yeah, I'll do USA's next weekend, and then um, if I'm top two, I think I'm I'm gonna do the 3K and the 15 double up there, and if I'm top two in either, um, yeah, go to go to World indoors. And, like why not? So it's another experience on the world stage, um, and then yeah, shut it down, and then probably you know open up a little later outdoor season. And what's the training been like as we prepare for this indoor season? Are you kind of training through, of course, looking towards outdoors, or are you like, okay, I want to make sure I'm ready for USA? Yeah, it, I feel like I, um, I've been training for this two mile. Like I, I think it, for some reason it's almost like the Billrose Games is like more important than than USA's. Or I mean, they're back to back. So if you if you go into middle of the fit, you're gonna do well. You're gonna be fit for your size. But uh, yeah, the focus has been this two mile and really like doing everything in training to prepare for it. I've done you know a lot of double threshold and I I did a 2k time trial the other week. Like everything in training I've done to prepare me for for this race. And now it's just kind of like the physical athletic stuff is there. Now it's just like mental of like put myself in it and, and see if I'm there with a lot to go. Um, but yeah, it's it's been a great a great fall and. Um, yeah, I'm excited to. I, I'm excited to eventually run a 15 at, at USA's because I, I did a K a couple weeks ago. Now I'll do a three K or a two mile, and then it's like, okay, when do I and eventually get to do my event? So I am excited to, to do that in, in Albuquerque. Nice. And I'm also just curious, how do you balance that mental side, right? Like you're always able to, you know, you come to practice, you see the workouts, you're able to do that, but how are you able to remain mentally strong even when you're doing well, right? Like you're having an amazing season, but also when you have really tough times and tough days and things like that. Yeah, this year I've, um, I, I just knew going in, I'm like, okay, this is an Olympic year, you have all this pressure, like, there's going to be more eyes on me than ever, like, I really need to prioritize my mental health, and so I got a therapist, and I've been meditating every single day, so I'm, I'm doing, like, for the first time ever, more, like, just as much work to prepare physically as I am mentally, and, like, um, you know, I'll go to physical therapy or see a masseuse and then I'll go see my therapist and then meditate it's like I'm I'm checking both boxes and I think that that's that's only going to help me right this year and it can't hurt me to, to prioritize that and so um yeah that's kind of like a big shift I think I've I've taken in the past like two months and so um just to get ready for this year and so yeah I I, I love it and I, I love having a therapist and someone to talk to through, through things and I'm like why haven't I done this my whole life um and so yeah, just to just to even just know that there's someone at the end of the week I can just talk to. Like that's it's everything, and I I don't know I would I I don't want to be like preachy, but I think everyone should do it. And um, yeah, so so I think that's kind of like how I'm I'm handling it. And um, yeah, I hope it no matter what I, I'm gonna be better for it, whatever the outcomes are this year. Last question: Why was it important to 
you know, have, have this documentary, to have this like opportunity to be able to share your story, and to, um, to have everyone kind of follow you through your journey? Yeah, um, I mean, why not? <laughs> I think it's, it's, you know, a little bit aggressive sometimes, but um, I've gotten used to it more and more, and, and kind of like I said up there, it's like, it was a big decision to, to have cameras you know, in my face going to Olympic year, but um, when I look at the big picture and take a step back, it's like, this is just a story of a trans person, like, trying to navigate this sport, trying to be the best advocate they can be, trying to be the best runner they can be, and, like, um, I think that's an important story to share, and I think representation has helped me so much in being able to come out and be seen and be who I am, and, like, so I want to... I want to give back and like be that representation for someone else and um, yeah so I think I don't know I I have no idea like what's gonna happen this year but that's the fun of it right it's like um, I'll either be an Olympian or a well or I'll, you, you know and it's um, yeah I think it's important to share that journey and um, I think it's gonna be like an Olympic story but like not actually about that at all it's just a human story <laughs> So many people are really proud of you and oh, super you. excited to see whatever comes out of you know, everything you've created this year. So. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>